So this question might be a little different for you. Um, they are giving us two pieces of information in question five. Question five says find the slope, uh, find the equation of the line. And we know that we can start with y is equal to mx plus b. And they are telling us that the slope is negative four. So I know m is equal to negative four, our slope and passing through a point negative 8, 29. So what we're going to do with this equation, we're going to plug in the values for x and for y and for our slope. And then we're going to go ahead and find b, our y-intercept, by plugging in the value for m and the point x and y. All right, so I know m is going to be 4. I know x is going to be uh, negative 8. And my y is over here at 29. So when I go through and plug that in, I have 29 is equal to negative 4 times negative 8 plus b. And again, we're solving for b. So the first thing we do is we multiply negative 4 times 8 and that is a positive 32 plus b. I subtract 32 from both sides and I solve that b is equal to negative 3. So our final place, that's our first step, our second step is to now write the equation Now that I know what b is, and we are given our m was equal to negative 4, so my equation is just y is equal to negative 4x minus 3. And again, this has y is equal to, so all you're putting inside here is the negative 4x minus 3. So for the next piece, it says find an equation with the slope of m is equal to, this is question six, um, negative two over nine. Now do notice what they're saying in the answer box. Do not use decimals as part of your answer. Express all of the parts of your equation e either as an integer, positive and negative whole number, or as reduced fraction. Um, same idea here, and then the point, excuse me, uh, the point is negative 18, negative 9. So again, the first step is to use that idea where I have my equation y is equal to mx plus b, and I'm going to put m in for my slope, and I am going to put x in and my y in, and the whole goal is to find and solve for b. So y is equal to negative 9, so it's negative 9 is equal to negative 2 over 9 times my x value, which is negative 18. I'm going to put that negative 18 over 1. Just makes it a little easier to deal with. And then plus b. So what I have to do here is we reduce these fractions. So I know that 9 divides evenly into negative 18 twice. So that gives me a negative 2. So now my fractions are gone. I have negative 9 is equal to a positive 4 plus b. I subtract 4 from both sides. And I now have a solution that b is equal to negative 13. So that is what we're looking for. We are given the fact that m was equal to negative 2 ninths. So when you're plugging this again, just again, make sure you would use fractions and not decimals. So it's going to be y is equal to negative fraction. 2 over 9. Make sure you put the x value, and then I am subtracting 13 from that. 
And that's all we need to do with these questions.